Hi there, I am in here. I would like to introduce the Hacking Lab Singer Sign On service. In Hacking Lab, there are many organizations or so called tenants, and you may have accounts on several of these organizations. And you need to remember your username and your password per application, or we call it tenants or organization. And this is a little bit of a problem. And therefore, we introduce the Hacking Lab Single Sign-On service. With the Single Sign-On service, you have one single account you can log in everywhere. Uh, in order to use it, you need to migrate your local ac accounts in the Academy tenant, in the Compass tenant, or any other organization in Hacking Lab to your Single Sign-On account. And this is what this video is about. So I will explain how to migrate your accounts. This must be done for every account. Uh, I will demonstrate it on an academy organization, but you need to do it on all accounts you have. So let's do an example without single sign-on. So without single sign-on, uh, you uh, visit your application, in this case academy. You will be redirected to your local IDP, to the academy tenant. And if you enter your valid username and password, you will be redirected back to the application. So this was the case for the last two years or, or more. So with the introduction of the single sign-on service, if you want to migrate, first you need to set up an account in the single sign-on service. So um, let me do a quick demonstration of this. I click um, on the Academy tenant. And because the Academy tenant allows single sign-on logons only, you enter end up on this website. This is the single sign on logon page. So if you enter here username password, the system expect a single sign on username. If you don't have a single sign on user, please sign up with the social logins or register your single sign on user account. Enter first name, last name, email, username and the password. As being said before, as the username will be seen by others, make sure it is a nickname that is not relating to your real identity. Of course, I already registered an account in the single sign on logon page. So once you have a single sign on logon account, um, because the Academy application is single sign on only enabled, so if you click on the Academy, you will then be redirected to the local identity provider. And because it's a single sign-on only uh, tenant, you will then be redirected to the global single sign-on service. After you have created your single sign-on account and you enter your valid username and password, you will then be redirected to the Academy portal. The first time you log in to the Academy portal, you need to link your newly created single sign-on account with your local Academy tenant account. So let's do a quick example or live demonstration. So I click on Academy, redirect to the local to global single sign-on service. I enter my global single sign-on username and my global single sign-on password. So in the first step, I need to confirm or update my account information. So my username, my email, first name and last name. If I agree, I press the submit button. Uh, so as I already have a local account in the Academy tenant, I will be notified that with my email address, there's already an account in the uh, Academy tenant. And if I want to use my existing account, so if I want to link my single sign-on account with my local account in the Academy tenant. Okay, let me do it, add to existing account. And to prevent fraud, you need to enter your Academy password or the password um, you want to link um, your, your global logon to the local um, IDP. So this is the probably the last time you must enter the local Academy tenant password. 
So let me enter my local academy tenant password. Okay, if I log on now, I am now logged on with my single sign-on user in the Academy application. And the beauty of this, uh, if I have another application that is single sign-on enabled, for example, the ECSC, click here. I'm already authenticated here as well because the ECSC is also single sign-on enabled. So, and you can now log on in all these applications with one single username and password. If I click on the Yoast account, um, I will be prompted to enter. To, so if I enter the username and password on the left side, I will use my local OST credential. But as the OST is also single sign-on enabled, I can click on the right side and I will be logged in as with my single sign-on user. The same for Compass. So whenever you have a username password field on the left hand side this means local logons um, but the compost tenant is also enabled for single sign-on so if i click here i will be locked in with my single sign credentials as well so uh, to summarize if you see a logon page that looks like this the screenshot below this means this is a single sign-on only uh, tenant. So no local uh, logons are allowed in this tenant. This is the case for the academy tenant. And it is the plan to migrate all tenants and organizations to the single sign-on logon. However, if you see, um, for example, the Compass website, and then you have two fields on the left side. Uh, this is the local logon. So means uh, you use your old um, uh, Compass IDP credentials. And if you want to use single sign-on, you click on the right side. And um, if you're already logged in in another uh, Hacking Lab application with single sign-on, there's no need to enter the password and you're automatically logged in, as shown in the demonstration before. I hope this tutorial will help you to migrate your local accounts to the single sign-on accounts and will make it easier for you uh, to use the single sign-on credentials and um, to use everywhere in the whole uh, Hacking Lab ecosystem. If you need help or support, please sign up on the, this Hacking Lab Discord channel. There will be a support channel and if you click on the email icon, a private chat with Hacking Lab will be generated and we can exchange any uh, issues you may have with the single sign-on service. Uh, so that's for today. Thank you for watching. Uh, take care. Bye-bye.